epidemic. The pandemic is an epidemic of an infection disease that has spread across a large region. And yes, pandemic can be caused by many kinds of infection disease. Infection disease is made due to bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites. Each factor has its own way of spreading the disease. So how can we save humanity from being hurt by this devilish creature? So, to prevent the pandemic from occurring, we should know the nature of pathology of the disease in order to deduce the prevention of the disease. In a nutshell, we just need to know how the disease spread and then stop the chain of reaction. For an instant, COVID-19, it is a very infectious airborne disease that we need to practice social distancing and wear masks to avoid spreading the disease. Another unique solution is to enhance the production of pembaro drugs, which are drugs that can effectively combat virus families altogether. Such drugs work by blocking out common mechanisms of various diseases. For example, Brandesivir is being tested as a potential vaccine for COVID-19, and Favipiravir works by mimicking building blocks in the RNA in human bodies and prevent it from replicating. This idea is already quite feasible in reality, but the main hindrance is the lack of funding for this development. By diverting the funds to increase the rate of production and further developments of pembaro drugs, it narrows down the potential diseases that may cause the next pandemic. Another good step would be to conduct clinical trials. Clinical trials study new tests and treatments and their effects on humans, in which people volunteer to test drugs and all sorts of treatments. These researchers are carefully designed and carried out in phases, with new drugs being tested in small groups to investigate their side effects. Safer drugs are then tested in larger test groups. After that, it is tested in large populations and various regions before being approved nationally to increase testing for the entire or most of the population. Desamethasone, for example, became a trade drug for COVID-19 patients. It was found to benefit critically ill patients by reducing mortality about one-third for patients with ventilators. To conclude, as the world is grappling with the harsh storm caused by COVID-19, science gives humanity a glimmer of hope. Science helps to stop the channel infection. Science produces vaccines to prevent infection. Science lowers the mortality rate. Science is the driving force for humanity and its survival.